Hi everyone, this is a quick video from me called Mavs going through some of the updates that I've recently added to the website. So over the last year I've worked on a few different projects. One of them has been the ultimate revision videos. So those videos that go through the whole of GCSE Higher and GCSE Foundation Mavs, as well as M1 to M8 for the, the C of the Northern Irish GCSE. Along with those videos, I've made the accompanying booklet. So there's a question on every single topic as you go through that video as well. But as well, what I've been working on has been upgrading the practice questions. So the practice questions, those practice question booklets, the booklets are like something like this, where we've got practice questions for every single topic on the website. Those booklets, I started making those back in 2012 or 13, and I finished making the last ones around 2017, 18, with just the odd extra topic being made in that time. And I think there's about sort of 350 booklets going through each of those topics. And those practice question booklets, I've been wanting to upgrade them over the last couple of years. So one of the things I wanted to do was to add more questions. So for instance, there might've been a topic where there may have been six or eight questions, and I wanted to have a lot more questions, maybe for revision or for homework, that there's more questions to do also the style of those questions so you know if I've sort of over the last few years had a good idea for a question I wanted to add those questions in an example being recently my son wanted to put his money in his money jar into the bank so we considered to go into the machine at the local supermarket or to his bank and the machine could have kind of either at the supermarket or at the bank but the machine at the supermarket would take a commission of 10% so we chose to go to the bank and we put his money tin and emptied it into the bank and they counted all this as change and after he counted his change he gave him a little slip and I told him how many 1Ps, how many 2Ps, how many 5Ps and so on he put into that machine and therefore that would be a great question. So recently I was making a booklet on coins and money and I made a question based on that. So over the last year there's been some questions that I thought of that I wanted to add into those booklets and also been wanted to add in some maybe more problem solving questions on certain topics and so on. So that's one of the things that I've wanted to do to upgrade those practice question booklets by putting in more questions and maybe putting in some other styles of questions in the booklets as well. Also, I've made new booklets. I've wanted to add new practice question booklets. So for instance, as I've mentioned, the money topic there, money I used to just group together as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Whereas actually, there's certain questions that come up, maybe if found in the midpoints of two amounts of money, maybe Alan has some money and Bob has some money. Maybe Alan's got more than Bob. How much money would Alan have to give Bob so they've got the same amount? Regular payment type questions, VAT questions, wages questions, bank statement questions. So what I've done is I've made those booklets. I've made booklets on each of those individual topics um, but also there's new booklets that I've wanted that as well so for instance in the Northern Irish GCSE I've added a topic on binary also I've added in booklets based on topics such as finding the turning points of quadratic graphs and things like that so I've wanted to add in those new booklets over the, over the last few years as well also there's some booklets that I wanted to split so for instance in the past the parallel and perpendicular lines so those linear graphs the parallel lines and the perpendicular lines I had a booklet which maybe had questions on a mixture of those whereas parallel lines is on the foundation GCSE and both of them are on higher. So what I've done is I've split those practice questions into two booklets. So there's a booklet now on parallel lines and there's a booklet down now on perpendicular lines with some questions on parallel lines put in there as well. So there's those two separate booklets. The same with factorising quadratics where we've got quadratics all on the higher booklets, that mixture. But then there's a booklet for the foundation students where they're factorising quadratics in the form of x squared plus bx plus c. So I've wanted to make those new booklets and split some booklets and I've wanted to add in more questions. As well as that, what I've wanted to do is with the practice question booklets, so these practice question booklets, whenever you've been doing them in the past, you might not have been clear whether a question was calculator or non-calculator. So one of the things I wanted to do as well is with this practice question booklet is have in on every single question. So here in trigonometry, we've got, it's a calculator question, there's that calculator symbol and so on. So every single question now is identified whether it's calculator or non-calculator. Um, also, some of the context of questions I've wanted to change. I recently I was going through a booklet on questionnaires and it was asking a student to criticize a question about asking how many DVDs someone bought. And you know, sort of back in 2013, 14, DVDs would have been quite popular, but now not so much. So I, want, I needed to change the context of some questions, currencies, the booklet on currencies, they weren't as accurate as they are now. So I needed to change those. And that obviously, you know, VAT being another example, now the VAT practice questions are new one but if it changes from 20% I'm going to need to change that booklet so some of the context of questions need to change as well also the appearance of some of the booklets I wanted to change the layout and uh, maybe some of the images had quite maybe big fonts for certain things and I wanted to make it a bit more standardized 
One of the massive improvements I've made to the practice question booklets is I've now included video solutions. So in the past, whenever we had a booklet, such as the simultaneous equations booklet, you had a QR code on the front which brought the student to the video tutorial on the topic. And if you wanted to find the answers, you'd have to go to the website, click on the answers, and there'd be my written solutions for each of the questions. And they were useful. But what I wanted to do was include video solutions so that if a, maybe a, a teacher wanted to find out how I approach a particular question or whether a parent wants to help their son or daughter with a, a topic or a question, they can watch the video on how I approach that particular question and go through that video solution and see how I've approached it. Also, students, you know, these videos and practice questions, whenever they scan the QR and the revision cards for the, for the practice questions, they will now see the questions and the video solutions as well. So if they're using the revision cards and going through and revising independently at home, they can look at the video solutions. And actually, whenever you're watching the video, you can jump from question one to question seven really easily, and you can get the video solution on the bit that you want. So it means that there's not just written solutions, there's full, I think at the minute so far, I've finished about 30% of the topics, the videos and the practice questions, those upgrade so far and I've made 50 hours worth of video solutions it's quite a long process but I feel it's very important to offer more support than what the, you know you know even more support and try to aim for the most the best support possible and um, so as well as the video solutions uh, one of the other things that I've done is I've also made sure that I'm including a variety of methods so for instance on the booklet on trigonometry uh, some schools and some teachers and some classes and students will use the trig ratio, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, tan is equal to opposite over adjacent and so on. They will substitute in the values and they will rearrange. Some students and schools will use um, triangles and if they want to find the tan of an angle, they cover up tan, the opposite divided by adjacent and so on. Um, my job at the website is to support students regardless of whatever methods they may be taught. So for those video solutions, there's two separate videos. Each one's over an hour long. One of the videos will go through using the rearranging another video will go through using the you know sort of the formulas and sort of covering up and finding it that way um expanding two brackets some of the one of my video solutions what i've done is i've gone through and said well if you're doing x plus four lots of something you can do x lots of it and four lots of it and then simplify or another video solution that i've done is to use a box or a grid method and to do it that way as well so with the video solutions i'm trying to make sure there's uh, video solutions that will cover every approach that the students may encounter maybe not every approach but the most common ones so that's and you know these are sort of the things that i've wanted to upgrade with the practice questions of so the video solutions and that's the massive one that's the one where as i've gone through the task i've maybe regretted starting because it is just taking so much time because 50 video 50 hours of final edited video that probably would be about 200 hours and then that's the videos that i've kept so there's hundreds and hundreds of hours of videos that have whittled down to be that 50 hours and i'm about 30 percent done so there's a i'm hoping at the, the end of this year to finish so that's what i've been working on just to go through so that's sort of to give you an insight if that's enough information for you i hope this has been useful what i'm now going to do is just go through and talk about what booklets have added and uh go through them really so in terms of the new booklets, as I've said, I've split the parallel lines and perpendicular lines, and each of those have now 24 and 23 questions. These are the new topics and new booklets that I've added, so compass directions, north, east, south, west, north, east, all that sort of thing. That would have been included in bearings, but there's questions that are just on compass directions, so I've now made a booklet based on that quartiles from a list so that may have been included with me within the media and there's maybe one question on that but now i've created a booklet with nine questions on finding the quartiles from lists and problem solving involving those as well odd and even numbers again i didn't have a booklet on that but there is a booklet on odd and even numbers turning points from quadratic graphs i love that one whether it's completing the square or maybe using symmetry and finding those turning points of completing the square um, Leonardo of Pisa, sorry, Fibonacci, I've got practice questions on Fibonacci. Population density. This is an example of a topic which is, you know, population density, well, you know, maybe it's appeared once or twice on the GCSE, but if it's appeared once or twice, I want to have a booklet there that just in case, maybe you want to cover it in class, then you want a booklet on that. So population density, there's now 12 questions on population density. Function machines, there's 23 questions on function machines. I've created a booklet on reading tables. They would have been included within other booklets, but I've created a reading tables booklet. Um, capture recapture if you do the edxl course capture recapture there's now questions on that uh, measuring drawn lines as i've said binary if the northern irish gcse have created a booklet on binary uh, so another topic is the perimeter of a semicircle and quarter circle. Those questions in the past may be included at the end of the circumference booklet, and they're still there as well. But I've now created a dedicated booklet with 12 questions on the perimeter of a semicircle and quarter circle. 
Um, think of a number type questions. So I've made a booklet on think of a number type questions. Um, X squared equations and also the midpoint of two fractions. So they're new booklets that I've made. Also, as I've mentioned, those money topics I've added on booklets on cost per liter, VAT, wages, discounts, cost per kilogram, money and paying for things, uh, profit questions, estimation questions involving money, the greatest number type questions, so a question maybe where you've got £10 and you want to buy as many rulers that cost 80p, how many rulers can you buy, how much change would you receive? Uh, questions on bank statements, I've added those in, a booklet on bank statements, a booklet on tax, income tax, and also regular payments. So there are some booklets that I've added. And then in terms of the booklets that I've updated, there's quite a lot of them, I'm just going to list the ones I've updated. So I've updated 2D shapes, quadrilaterals, 3D shapes, net, addition, change in the subject, advanced change in the subject, uh, collecting like terms, expanding brackets, expanding two brackets, expanding three brackets, substitution, angles and polygons, tessellations, air of a circle, air of a parallelogram, air of a rectangle, air of a semicircle, air of a trapezium, air of a triangle, um, averages in the range, um, for instance, in that book, I've added 16 new questions, mean uh, from a frequency table, the estimated mean, parts of the circle, area of segment, circle theorems, constructing triangles, order and decimals, recurring decimals, trial improvement, factorization, factorizing quadratics, x squared factorizing, so that foundation topic where you just factorize in quadratics where you just have an x squared, adding fractions with the same denominator, multiplying and dividing fractions, ordering fractions, reciprocals, frequency polygons, stem and leaf, arithmetic involving negative numbers, order negatives, order numbers, real life negatives, or, um, order of operations, currency, the midpoint of two numbers, place value, using calculations, triangular numbers, parallel and perpendicular lines, simple interest, reverse percentages, perimeter, the quadratic formula, uh, questionnaires, rotations, rounding, uh, significant figures, rounding finding the highest and lowest possible value, simultaneous equations, standard form, subtraction, surface area of the sphere, distance charts, types of triangles, trigonometry, reciprocal graphs, use of a calculator, volume of cuboid, volume of a cylinder, volume of L-shaped prisms, volume of a cone, volume of a sphere, words and figures, flow charts, algebraic proof, frequency trees, error intervals, quadratic inequalities, density, and the quadratic amp term. So those are the topics that I've gone through and have updated so far. Um, as I've said, I've probably added another thousand questions on the website and 50 hours of video tutorials or video solutions. I really hope that they're useful. That's about 30% of the work. I'm hoping to complete the over 70% of it over the next year. So hopefully that'll be really useful for you. And just one last thing, if you're looking at a booklet that has got blue writing, that's one of the older booklets. If it has gone to green, that means it's one of the updated ones. And I really hope you find that useful. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.